ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark London and this is the Evening Standard Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, how many years do you reckon the new Samsung flip phones are good for? But first, volcanic rocks discovered by NASA's Perseverance rover on the floor of the Red Planet's 3.7 billion years old Jezero crater are offering a tempting clue to how the Martian climate evolved. It's part of analysis of the rover's findings after it spent a year trundling around collecting samples. Now scientists have tried to work out how the igneous rock was formed as strangely there's no evidence of volcanic activity in the crater. The actual ridge of igneous rock is just over half a mile wide and the hunt is on, led by the California Institute of Technology and the University of Oslo to discover the geological phenomena that caused it to form where it has. Now... It's emerged that while Europe faces a winter of rocketing energy bills, Russia is actually burning off natural gas at the Porto Vella plant, which is worth £8.5 million each day and is obviously contributing to the climate crisis. The liquefied natural gas facility, which is northwest of St Petersburg and near the Finnish border, would more usually pipe the fuel under the sea to Germany via Nord Stream 1. Experts are trying to get to the bottom of why the gas is being burned, whether it's linked to trade embargoes over Russia's invasion of Ukraine, or if there are technical problems at the Gazprom plant requiring the fuel to be flared. Researchers have built model embryos from mouse stem cells that form a brain, beating heart and other foundational body organs. The study is hoped to offer understanding why some embryos fail while others go on to develop into a healthy pregnancy. We are trying to understand how we can work with uh, embryonic and extra embryonic stem cells to uh, see whether we can build part of the embryo or part uh, of the organ that to to understand how to repair it when it fails. Magdalena Janitska getz is a professor of mammalian development and stem cell biology at the University of Cambridge's Department of Physiology, Development and Neuroscience. You build the embryo-like structure using stem cells and this uh, develop to initiate the process of formation of different organs. And what it allows you to do is to understand for the very first time using such a stem cell derived embryo model how those organs are built in a mouse embryo that develops very similarly but not identically to the human embryo. Next. SpaceX and T-Mobile have announced their plan to use satellites to beam phone service to all those nooks and corners that coverage just can't reach. Elon Musk says he hopes to use a new service through the company's Starlink satellites to provide the mid-band spectrum service in the next year or so. Now, it's International Dog Day, and let's talk about brain health to keep your pet healthy. Research as part of the Dog Aging Project found that the risk of canine dementia increases by over half each year. The animal ages, and if they're unable to learn new skills, it could be a sign of cognitive decline, much like humans. And if you ever needed a reason for walkies, researchers behind the project say evidence of cognitive decline was six and a half times higher among dogs that didn't exercise. Next. Twitter's begun testing their new audio experience, which will eventually see podcasts launch alongside Spaces. Following this experiment, audio hubs will eventually be visible across the platform based on news themes, the people and the topics you follow. Please don't worry, the Spaces original feature isn't going anywhere. This is just another way Twitter hopes to spotlight audio content from talent across the world. Coming up... Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Let's go to the ads. Why not hit rate, follow in the meantime. Welcome back. It's the day for Samsung's release of two foldable smartphones, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Both have the latest iteration of the folding screens Samsung's been developing for years and start at around a thousand pounds. The company reckons they're good for being open and closed more than 200,000 times. Tech and Science Daily's back of a napkin calculation is that if the average user looks at their phone some 150 times a day, then these models are apparently good for something over three and a half years. 
A study is suggesting that people who sleep well are less likely to suffer from a stroke. Researchers at the French National Institute of Health and Medical Research in Paris say suboptimal sleep is linked to a heightened risk of heart disease and stroke. Researchers examined sleep habits data from 7,200 men and women in France aged 50 to 75 and those who enjoyed an optimal 7 to 8 hours rest were found to have a 74% lower risk of heart disease and stroke compared to those with the lowest sleep scores. And finally, this discovery is actually finally having its time. Scientists say a 7 million year old leg bone found two decades ago in Chad in north central Africa was actually a relative of us humans that walked on two feet. It's believed to be the earliest known member of the homonyms group, which is a common ancestral link of humans and chimpanzees to people today. Paleontologists from the University of Poitiers who published the study in the journal Nature say more research is needed. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader from the Evening Standard here in London. And we'll be back on Tuesday at 1pm. See you then.